welcome to day 23 of Stay at Home with Stanley. Apologies for the weekend, um, my husband was taken to hospital. So unfortunately, we weren't able to do the videoing and the training that we planned to do. So he is recovering, he's in hospital and will be for some time. But we thought we'd get back to do some training to keep us all occupied and to take our minds off of what's going on at the Manchester Royal Infirmary. Anyway, as you can see, Stanley is here ready to do a little exercise. We thought we'd do a little bit of a, an exercise which kind of extends on from what we were doing the other day, where I want to just see if Stanley will stay sitting or lying down while we start to put a bit of distraction around him. Um, we've got a couple of different um, objects to play with here. Come on, boys, and sit down for me, shall we? Okay, this is fun. So what we've got is a tennis ball. We've got a little favourite uh, toy. And I know, it's very exciting. And we've also got a mechanical mouse. So if you've got anything at home that's, that moves mechanically, if not something on a piece of string that moves, we want to almost replicate things that might move when they're out and about and see whether or not we can ask them to stay still while this thing moves. So I'm gonna start with the toy and the ball because that's a bit less exciting. We'll go to, at the end, doing it with the mouse. And then we might even test it by putting a little bit of food on top of the mouse to see if he stays still. So let's have a go. There you go, Stanley. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Okay, on your mat. Oh, good lad. Let's get that straight, shall we? Oh, that's a clever boy. Here we go. So we'll start with the toy. So there's a good boy. Move that. Good boy. Okay, sit. So I want him to know that sitting on the mat, there you go, you can sit, yes, good boy. Maybe we'll reward him well for staying on the mat, okay? And then we're going to start by, leave, yes, good boy. So he did go and try and get the toy, fantastic. Second thing we'll do is we'll do a little bit of a bouncing ball. Yes, good boy, well done. Bounce that ball again. Good boy. Well done. Okay. Now we're going to try the mouse running in front of him. Okay. So we'll see if this works. Good boy. You can see there. There you go. Here it comes. It's going to come back a bit now. What a clever boy. Yes. He's going, I'm not bothered about the mouse. And then lastly, I'm going to put a little bit of chicken. This will be a bit of a test on top of the mouse. So it's a bit of a lever exercise. Hopefully you can see it here. Good boy. Good boy. You just see it coming to the camera now. It's just a bit of cheese there moving with a, with a mouse with chicken on top of it. Not bothered, he says. Good boy. Well done. And he stayed on his mat the whole time. Well done. So I'll take that away. What a clever boy. So a little bit of a fun game. If you've got anything at home that's um, mechanical like this, is quite a good fun thing to do. So good boy. There we go. Over here, good boy, sit. Good boy, Stanley, good boy, sit. <laughs> good lad, well done. So if you've got anything mechanical, you can have a bit of fun. If kids have got a mechanical toy, but the tip here will be to start off something that's not that distracting. So don't start with his favourite toy that you know gets him really excited. Start with something fairly boring, not too exciting, and maybe make the movement quite uh, limited to start with. Hello <laughs> Stanley. So a little bit of a fun game to teach him. You could ask him to do it a sit, doing it down. I've used my mat because he, he knows that as a point of reference. Good lad. Um, but it's just a little bit of fun game to start to get him to realise that when you say stay still, we mean stay still. So on your mat. Good boy. He is a clever boy. So have fun and we'll be back tomorrow with a few more training games, hopefully in the garden because it's a lovely day tomorrow. So have fun and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.